area of uh, the content, which is the certifications, qualification packs, which will standardize the whole process of creating talent and recruiting talent. The second part of the, is the platform. So if you look at what we're announcing today, we're announcing two things. One is that the whole sector skill council certification qualification packs are going to become increasingly the standard through which talent is created and recruited. Now the question is who will consume the talent? Obviously the industry. How will industry know about all this? Well, through IT recruiters or talent acquisition professionals. So how do you bring them to a single platform? Well, that's what we're announcing as the talent acquisition professionals platform. In a sense, this whole community is being brought together uh, through the work of Successful Council in partnership with Talent Sprint so that we'll have multi-city events. Today is the first event in Hyderabad. We have, over the next two months, events in Bangalore, Chennai, Pune, and Delhi scheduled because these are the five major IT and BPM hubs of the country. So starting with Hyderabad today, is a kickoff event that happened today, NASCOM chairman inaugurated it. We have the next set of events in Bangalore, then Chennai, then Pune, and then National Capital Region. And this will all be completed by November, these events. In each of these events, we'll have the core recruiting or talent acquisition community of those hubs from all the companies come together in these kinds of sessions like we have witnessed today, right? Where there'll be a lot of high quality content made available to them, as well as information about all the Sector Skill Council activities and qualification packs. So in a sense, the technology platform is one is the events, the other is we are going to create a virtual network on the web and on LinkedIn. There will be a platform where the talent acquisition professionals of the entire country will be aggregated and there'll be regular weekly and monthly dissemination of information and learning for that community. So essentially we're achieving two goals. One, get the community of buyers of talent aggregated on a single platform through events as well as virtual uh, network. Once they're aggregated, we have a much better channel of communication through which we can push information about qualification packs. Because as Sandhya said, this information is very critical, very dynamic. Today we might have three new uh, skill sets added in the next month. We might have five skills be retired next month because you know how the industry is moving, it's gonna be very dynamic. So without a clear communication pathway to industry and especially talent acquisition professionals, we can't achieve these changes. So this announcement today encompasses both these ideas. The idea of a common platform for talent acquisition professionals which is both physical as well as virtual. And the idea that the time has come for us to disseminate all this SSC related qualification packs in a very aggressive manner so that both the supply and demand side can start converging on common standards. Mobility of talent, right? I mean, if you look at uh, what the Prime Minister said that India is a warehouse of talent for the rest of the world. So in that sense, you know, we know that um, the demographic dividend is such that we should be having 500 million young people in the country who need employment in the next decade. Well, I think in the best of conditions, Indian economy will probably absorb 200 million. The rest have to be globally portable in that sense. So therefore, from day one, if you follow this whole method of qualification packs, we are saying that a talent who is certified in a given job role and given, given QP is valid as a talent in terms of viability, both in a city like Hyderabad or a state like Telangana, Andhra Pradesh, or in the nation of India, or in the world, because there's equivalence being created to this common global standards. Mm -hmm.